And that is certainly the case here. The first step, one of many, towards the very summit of European football. This is the time when you dream, indeed perhaps you believe, you are allowed to believe. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. So, are we ready for another edition of this tournament? I think we are. Well, when it comes to major European trophies, Peter, this is one of those eagerly awaited days on the footballing calendar I think changes to the format have increased interest levels and the emphasis on on victories is more pronounced now and hopefully these two will go at it accordingly and we can enjoy this and running who do you Jim see making the difference here yeah Jerome Boateng he certainly got all the physical qualities you'd look for in a centre back Peter but his technique and positioning are so good that he rarely needs to use them he can play a mean long ball he certainly caught him there it's a free kick Lucas Paqueta is the guilty party there. Paqueta and it's Slimani that's not going to make it just to point out Peter that the fullbacks are quite high and what are they trying to achieve well it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about shoots that comes as a mighty relief Still without an attempt on target. Oh, well played, he saw that coming. If 
Ivan Marcano. Pepe. Real chance! Goal! Porto! And Porto go in front. Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. So we have our breakthrough. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. Lyon are still behind as we reach out for half-time. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Money. Out to the left it goes. A really good feat. And there's the end of the first half. So there you have it, a close sport half of football. But Robert still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Hasn't exactly got the plan so far, but there's no need to panic. There's still plenty of time to get back into this. As always, an early goal would help swing things back in their favour. The action has already resumed here. Leon need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution. I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Lucas Paqueta did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Slimani. Lucas Paqueta. Gets wrestled off the ball. And it's Shakiri. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. back in the game they're not as threatening as their opposition it's got to change Lucas Paqueta that will annoy the manager they're making themselves too predictable here Slimani Slimani and he's on his way Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Lucas Paqueta gets it back. Oh, that's a waste. Porto certainly don't need to overcommit now. Their priority lies further back. Lucas Paqueta. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. So the first game is lost, and there is ground to be made up. The margin for error significantly reduced. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Well, we can't dress it up. It's not an...